Well, folks, we saw some much needed rainfall last night. It's winding down now in Springfield, but the rain line still producing heavy to moderate rainfall from Eminence to West Plains down towards parts of uh, Oregon County and also Ash Flat to Walnut Ridge in uh, northeastern Arkansas there. The main line, the front of the line, it's been weakening as it pushed eastward. We had some stronger winds off towards the west. Joplin had some wind damage around there. Some folks in Bolivar had some power outages as a result of that wind coming through. A little bit of lightning mixed in there too, but it, the worst is over. And the worst here locally really wasn't all that bad, but there was some minor damage out there. Tree branches, I'm sure, as we had some gusty winds from time to time blowing with this leading line. Zooming out, it wasn't just us, it was a large swath of rain all the way from Canada, the Great Lakes, down towards central Texas, a line of 1,700 miles of rain from this one storm system. The center of the storm right here, snow, parts of South Dakota and Minnesota, and that cold front again extending down through the Ozarks, giving us that rain, pushing it off towards the east. How much rain? A good one to two inches of rainfall here and there, the greens and yellows. Not everybody saw an inch, but many of us did see an inch, but I'd say at least a half inch to maybe three quarters of an inch on the low side. A great rain for you. That cold front right now going through Joplin, going through Lake Ozark, knocking on our door here in Springfield. We'll see a northwest wind later today. Not breezy. Okay, good news. Jump up and down. Not a windy day today. Low 60s right now. Cooler air funneling in from the north and west. This will keep temperatures fairly stagnant through the daytime today. Not really moving much more from where we are now. Upper 50s, low 60s for the afternoon. Rain also wrapping up. Skies becoming mostly sunny by the midday hour today in Springfield. Good news for trick-or-treaters. The rain is getting out of here like we're talking about. So for this evening, yeah, low 60s by 5, 7 p.m. Looking at middle 50s and around 50 degrees for 9 p.m. A little chilly for the Halloween trick-or-treaters, but not too cold, not too warm, and we're staying dry. Looks like we're doing things right this year. Okay, looking at future cast, the line of rain continues to push down to the southeast. We're drying things out for the remainder of today. Skies becoming sunny, clear skies overnight tonight. A little chilly Friday morning, upper 30s, low 40s. We go into Friday afternoon, more sun, more calm weather, a great looking fall day. Saturday, mostly dry Saturday. Rain comes through Saturday night into Sunday with another round Monday into Tuesday. Some of that rain, Monday night specifically could come with a risk of strong to possibly severe thunderstorms. There'll be some weak energy though coming by Saturday night, Sunday morning. Not too strong, but there will be a couple rounds of rainfall there. And then the main system comes through Monday night, and that's where we could find those severe weather chances for us to start off next week. Rainfall amounts pretty heavy, three, four, five inches of rain. The data is consistent on those heavy rainfall totals. Saturday night through Election Day, Election day Tuesday afternoon should be dry and then a good looking start for Wednesday of next week. Guys, a soggy weekend ahead of us here, Tom. Thanks.